Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 200 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, so it's been an interesting week. I've been working on all different types of recipes and stuff. And I've been experimenting on something because a lot of people talk about the keto brick and they like the idea of it, but like, what could they do with it? Yeah. So I've been working on something and I'm going to experiment this on you. Oh, oh, oh I, I'm I made the, a muffin. I'm the, I'm the guinea pig. I made a muffin using a piece of a keto brick. Okay. So instead of using like butter or coconut oil or some kind of a fat, I used one of my keto brick pucks, which is 125 calories worth of a keto brick. So it's one eighth of a keto brick. Okay, one eighth of a keto brick. What right. did you melt it down? I melted it down and that became my fat source. So instead of butter, I'm using keto brick. Now I used the peanut butter keto brick, but I think you could use any one of them. What kind of sweetener is going on in there? I used a little bit of erythritol. Okay. And then I'm not going to disclose the whole recipe right now because oh. you got to tell me if it's any good if I should oh. even bother doing a recipe. Oh, okay. So this would be like a chocolate. It smells like chocolate. Peanut butter um, muffin. It's a mug cake. So I made it in, it's a minute and a half cooking in the microwave. What do you think? Oops. Wow. No, I really like that. It definitely has the consistency of like a cupcake or a muffin. Mm -hmm. You guys can see that. Wow. Let's see if we can do that. Focus. There we go. It, it, it really has a nice It's very dense. This is a, a gorgeous breakfast muffin. You imagine starting your day like this? Mm -hmm. And Keto Bricks is going to have like MCT oil and... Some stuff to giddy up and go. Yeah. So what do you think? Should we make this a recipe? I do. Wow. Now, I mean, again, I've, I I added some erythritol, but you could actually make it without erythritol. It just won't be quite as sweet because there's a little bit of sweetness to the keto brick and then put butter on it. So. I'm, I'm liking where this is going. Wow. That's delicious. Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lord, that it was like a recipe that I'm not... <laughs> like that I'm getting without knowing what's happening to me that wasn't like organ meat. Well, let us know down in the comment section if you guys would be interested in that video and like basically how to make a mug cake out of keto bricks. I like that. That was very tasty. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. So let's talk about our week. So it was a busy week. You know, we had a bunch of things going on. I've been working on our website all week long. We talked about it in our blog. I've had very little sleep, but I'm getting more sleep. Last night I had a few hours. The night before I had a few hours. But I have learned a lot about how to program a website. Right? Like things you never thought you would need to know. I know. I mean, it's really interesting because, you know, these companies don't give you a lot of help. But, I mean, thank goodness for YouTube and for Google because I remember as a kid... You know, when you had to learn something, you had to go to the library or try to find it in a book, or most of the time, you just had to hire someone. Now, yeah. all you got to do is type it into YouTube, type it into Google, and you can usually find how to fix something. There is, like, instructions for everything on the, YouTube. The only problem for me is, so I'll find how to fix something, or like, you know, for example, I was like looking for something on how to implement something on the website, and I found it. And so I'm trying to research it and learn. And then I get up and I go to another room where I'm like, I'm going to work on this later. And what happens is, is I forget like which website I was looking at. And then when you go back and Google it in later, you don't ever get the no. same website again. No, you can't find it again. So I have like 
I try to go through the history and going through the history is like ridiculous because I've viewed like 500 websites. Right. So I've started bookmarking it, but now I've got so many bookmarks it's, that you can't find it within the bookmarks. It's like you have to retrace your steps down the rabbit hole yeah. you went down. Trying to figure out what day, what hour, what minute did I actually see that website. Yeah. That's very difficult. It is a pain, but I think I've got everything I wanted. Now the next thing I want to do with their website, if you have never been to our website, it's twocrazyketos.com. We do have recipes on there. We're starting to put more vlogs on. So Rachel is the writer. So Sorry, I'm going to be writing up a storm. I've got her I'm going excited. through our recipes and writing like how we came up with a recipe, what inspired us, why we like it, those kind of things. So it's not just a recipe. Not too long because personally I don't want to have to scroll through a 12 page thing to get to I the recipe. I can be long, long, what's the equivalent of long winded but in typing? Long, long typing. I don't know. I can, I can talk even, I talk a lot even with my typing. Well, it wasn't just that. We just wanted to give you a little bit of insight of what we created, why we created a, uh, a recipe or why we're using a certain ingredient. Because I know sometimes I find that interesting. Like, why are you using this particular ingredient? Or if it's, for example, a mug cake, like, yes, you can substitute coconut flour for the almond flour, but this is what you have to do. So we want to add that kind of stuff in there. But the other thing we want to start doing is kind of making that a little bit more interactive and having like a, at least a weekly blog, like mm -hmm. where we're gonna start writing up things. So you're gonna start seeing some changes there. Um, but if you've been there recently, you'll see there's a whole new menu across the top. I'm trying to make it easier to find things. Yeah. And the other thing I'd like to do with the website, um, if you guys would be interested in, is I'd like to have like a testimonial page. Oh, that'd be great. So like have a page where people could just go to and see like, you know, before and after pictures or like your story and just you just have a bunch of different people who maybe are subscribed to us where your story could be up there. So and if that'd be something you're interested in, email us. Yeah, so uh, email us at um, stories at twocrazyketos.com yeah. and then we'll put it up there. And, you know, because your story, like we say on our Facebook group, could inspire somebody. It, well, it's not could. It's going to. Yeah. And and your particular story will speak to somebody in a ways maybe ours won't. Right. So, I mean, they need to see your unique journey. So if you're willing to share it, a lot of people will be blessed by it. Yeah. So we want to do that. Um, what was the other thing that I was looking at doing? Oh, I was going to I'm trying to figure out how to implement a thing where if you have questions, you can ask the question right in there and then we can make it part of the, the blog. I had a frequently asked questions there, but I'm kind of transferring it over to like more of a blog style thing. This seems very techy. <laughs> so I want to be able to put a thing where if you have a question, like a specific question on keto, you can put it on in there and then we can kind of answer it or find the answers and turn it into a blog post kind of stuff. So we're working on it. There's also a section on there for, it says, I think, uh, keto products. And that's got like all of our swag, like our t-shirts, our backpacks, these wristbands that we've got. Oh, I love these. It has our t-shirts on there. And uh, the t-shirts are all through Amazon. And then there's also a page on there for like products we like, which is all the different keto products we like, things like perfect keto bars and stuff like that. Some of it's affiliate links, some of it isn't. I was gonna say, and whether we're affiliated or not, if there's a coupon, it's yeah, up there. It's on there, even if it's not our coupon. Like I know like ButcherBox, there's a coupon like AP10 that gets you $10 off your first box and free bacon. Like that's on there, you know? Yeah. If we know of a coupon, I put it on there, whether it's something that we're affiliated with or not, because we're always about saving m us money and you guys money. We're super cheap. And some of it's like kind of selfish. Like I'm putting it on there so that when I want to go order you it, I can forget. go back and find the coupon. Go through that code. portal. Uh, and then there's also an uh, Amazon products thing, which is all the products that we use that we get on Amazon. Like people ask us like, hey, what's the ice cream maker you use? The that bowls. kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah, the mixing bowls, things like that. So that is all on there. And speaking of like swag stuff, so we had ordered something, which is what we were waiting for for our 5,000 subscriber box. Yes. So we I'm ordered these tape measures, which I was like, this is awesome. Rachel's like, let's do tape measures because we're about the scale is the devil. Yeah, get off the scale and measure your, you know, with a 
like a seamstress tape, a tailor yeah. tape. So we ordered these like cool tape measures with our logo so on it. So excited. And I called up the company. It was the same company that did the wristbands. And I'm like, uh, where's my tape measures? Because they had sent us a thing saying like, that color's out of stock. I'm like, fine, change it to yellow. And a week later, I'm like, what's going on? And I call them up and they're like, oh, we haven't started working on it yet. And I'm like, I kind of need these. You told me that they were going to be yeah. ready by this date. And they're like, well, if you really want them, like, it'll take three more weeks. I'm like, no, cancel the order. If I, I really want them. Yeah. So we're looking for another company to do that instead. So I think it'll, we'll pro we're going to try to, whether we have them or not, we're going to do our 5,000 subscriber giveaway, like, towards the end of this week. Yeah. And I haven't even told you this. We're going to do two boxes. I'm so excited. We're going to do a first prize and a second prize. Good. So the I first prize will have more stuff than the second prize, but at least there'll be two winners. Maybe we'll do three prizes. How about that? We'll do a main box. Okay. Because I was going through everything that we have. Yes. We'll do a main box. Then we'll do a second prize, which has a little bit of less stuff. And then third prize is like our blender bottle in the backpack okay. and the wristband. I love that. Yes. What do you think? Yes. I, first, second, and third. So yes. we'll do first, second, and third. So that video, look for it towards the end of this week, probably like Friday or Saturday. Yay, I'm so excited. So long excited. as we have time to film it. Yes. And we'll, uh, we'll do three prizes. Good. And we're going to run that for a couple of weeks. But I was really one of the tape measures. And the other thing that I didn't even talk to you about that I was thinking about doing is I want to do coffee, not coffee mugs. Well, I was going to do coffee mugs or tumblers. Okay. I know you want Contigos. I do. We're not doing Contigos. They're too expensive. Yeah. They're too expensive for us to have printed and they're too expensive for people to buy. Yeah. So we're, I'm going to do either a tumbler, just like a regular stainless steel tumbler with just the, the lid that goes on top. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you turn it upside down, it's going to leak. I don't like that. Well, it's it's still a tumbler, and most people use tumblers. Are we going to talk about leaking travel Yeah, mugs? we'll talk about that one in a second. So we're either so I wanted to ask you guys would you would you rather see a tumbler or a regular eleven ounce coffee mug? Like I'm thinking like a fourteen to sixteen ounce tumbler or a coffee mug. Personally, I like tumblers. Because a coffee mug, if you're drinking coffee in the house and you have to run out, you can't take the coffee mug with you. At least I can't. You do anyway. But it doesn't fit in your car. I am in so much pain right now. Can like, I tell this story? Like I can't even explain it. No, no, no. No, this no. Is, I'm going to tell it. But I want to. This is my story. So I'm at my football games yesterday. I had four football games. And halfway through the day, I get this text message. Mom had to come over and bandage my wound. And I'm like, wound? What is she talking about? And then she goes on, I don't know how I accomplished this, but I burnt my butt cheek with hot tea. Yeah. So. So I was sitting in bed, like relaxing a little bit before I left for church. <laughs> and I had like a contigo of hot tea. And I went to go drink it, and I somehow, I mean, th my clumsy level must have been up to 100, it right? Is. Like, crazy. I missed my mouth altogether, and then poured it, like, behind me somehow, and a lot of it came out. I'm sorry to laugh. I just, I'm trying to picture you doing this. Right. It was awful. So, as the hot tea came out... It hit my butt cheek. So my first thought is, how big is my butt? Like, how does it flail out enough that it could become a bowl for whatever I spill out the side? I mean, it's it, it, okay. it must be big. Okay, so, so we, wait, wait, a wait a second. Wait a second. So I get up and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is hot. And I thought, oh my gosh, it's still hot <laughs> because it's continuing to burn me. And so I jumped up and I like wiped my butt cheek where I'd spilled it and my top layer of skin came off. And I was like, oh my gosh, my skin came off. And so then I wiped it again and another layer came off. And I was like, Rachel, stop touching it. And yeah, no, second degree burns. My entire left butt cheek is missing now. Okay, so... We have to get back. I, I don't understand how she's accomplished this. I don't. So picture this. No. This is our bed. She's laying in bed. I don't even have it. I wish I had an empty cup. She takes her cup. She goes like this. It misses her mouth. It goes over her back. Well, I was it, using my left hand. Okay. So 
it does, it goes over your, past your mouth, down your back, but doesn't touch her back, all the way down, and burns here. Yeah. Like, all, all doesn't of- burn here, doesn't burn here, doesn't burn in her back, somehow pours it down her back without touching her back, and burns her butt cheek. Like, like it's bad. Oh. It's really bad. So I sent a picture of my butt to my mom, who lives like a block away, and I was like, "I've done, I've done my my butt cheek. My butt cheek has been burnt off. What do I do? Because I don't, I have to leave for church. I don't know how you accomplish this stuff. So weirdly, my mom had like a tackle box on the ready with like a burn kit. Like a burn kit in it. Like how does, I mean, how what what level of grandmother is this woman that, that she's like ready? An awesome one? Like uh, she's ready. Like paramedic, firefighter, you need a tracheotomy, like she's got you. So Meanwhile in our house with three boys and me, good luck finding a band-aid. Yeah, there's none. I slice my finger open and Rachel comes into the kitchen and she's like, what are you doing? And I've got like a paper towel like wrapped around it with duct tape and she's like what and i'm like there's no band-aids in this i house. buy boxes of band-aids and they're just gone i don't know what happens to them so she comes over she's babysitting my nephew who's in first grade and she has to bandage up my butt like god bless that woman right and so when we're done elijah says aunt rachel is this why you prefer coffee to tea and i was like yes you're right Coffee has never done this to me. Never burnt my butt before. Tea. Speaking of coffee, we're on week two of no coffee. Are y'all like so impressed? I just want to see how long I can go. This was supposed to be a day. And then you finished finished out a week. You finished all of September. And you said, I am drinking coffee on October 1st. So I made coffee. And she didn't drink it. I didn't. I'm trying to see how long I could go. And then... I was going out for coffee with my friend and um, we went to Panera Bread and I thought, okay, I'm going to break it here and like drink a cup of coffee. But Panera Bread coffee right. is like, mm. their pastries I'm sure are great. I've got what's going to make you drink but coffee their though. coffee is like not, not worth writing home about. I would rather have like Wawa coffee than Panera Bread. No, I've got what's going to make you drink coffee. What? So... We've talked about this before. I got a bunch in Whole Foods the other day because they were on sale. The I love the, I think it's pronounced Kaitu, K-I-T-U, the super coffees. Oh, okay. Those things are incredible. We I first found them when I, I found them. Oh, I the had creamer. them once, not the creamer, okay. the little bottle. Yeah. Right? I had them when we went to KetoCon. Remember? I had gotten one, and then my sister had actually met them at, like, one of the owners when she was at a store in New York, and she had sent me the card saying, hey, like, I was talking to this guy, and fell in love with them when we were at KetoCon and was drinking them down. Those things are flipping awesome. The problem is they're really expensive. They're, like, $3.40 a piece, but there's only, like, 80 calories in it. It's one total carb. Their creamer is magnificent. And, yeah, so they have the creamer, which is the only creamer we buy now because the creamer is, like, 50 calories for three tablespoons. And it's so good and very and nice and sweet. Like, good sweet. Well, they, like, I bought, my favorite has been the um, vanilla and then the mocha one they have. Mm-hmm. I like vanilla. You and, got a hazelnut. And I got a hazelnut. The hazelnut one's good too. I'm not a hazelnut. So person. they were on Seller Whole Foods. I got them. And Aaron over on High Fat High Fun put up a review. I did not know about this one. They have a seasonal flavor that came out. And it's, it's <gasps> maple pumpkin. No, it's not. And I messaged him and he was, I was like, I love those things, but you know, I use them as a treat for once in a while. He's like, oh, I've been drinking them like water. Wow. And he's like, they are so good. I've, okay, I will try that. So I ordered two cases of them because <laughs> they're seasonal. They're going to be gone along with that. But those are mine. Those are the little ones. You can have one of those. You don't, oh, really, well, you don't really little like those little bottles. Did you get creamer? So they also have the maple pumpkin in a creamer. Okay, now we're talking. So I ordered, it was like a special, like Aaron actually has a coupon code. I don't know, I think it was like 80 keto 20 oh. to get them at 20% because it's $45 for 12 of them. But 
I actually found another website that actually had them for a 20% off coupon and it was only $40. So you saved $5. But on the same website that Aaron linked, you don't have to buy, it's $45 for 12 of them, which is like $3 and 30 cents a piece. And then you have this 20% off coupon, but they were also doing a deal where you got a case of them and then six of the coffee creamers, the okay. big creamers yeah. that you would put like three tablespoons in. Uh -huh. And it was like much cheaper. I think it was like $55 for the case and the six creamers. Wow. And the six creamers are like four or five dollars a piece. All right. And it's a treat. And those treat those creamers though, again, the expiration date on them is usually like six months in advance. Just don't open so it. So long as you don't open it. Don't oh it's like heavy cream. You ever look at heavy cream and it's like this is, this is good through December tenth and then you open it up and three days later it's curdled. Yeah. It's like it's it's like What's ricotta. Ricotta cheese, right? Ricotta you cheese. You buy ricotta cheese and it's got an expiration date that's in two months and you open it up and then like four days later, you're like, oh my gosh, that's horrible. <laughs> you need to like make like four lasagnas at once yeah. and just use it all up. So it's like that. these creamers are all, it's the same thing. They've got a long expiration date so long as you don't open it up. If you open it up, you got to use it within a week. Yeah, it's done. But yeah, I, w I think it was like a 40% discount if you bought the case of the the drinks, the individual where they're already mixed drinks. And it's like drinking a Starbucks, the canned lattes. Remember you used to buy those canned and lattes? Guess, and I guess you can see it like if it's a Starbucks price, yeah. about $3 is probably It's a treat. And it's range. like a treat. It's like a bar. I'm not drinking one every day. And I mean, we I haven't had them since KetoCon because we, we came home from KetoCon they were on sale, we bought like four or five, and then we haven't had them since because I'm not paying normal price. I will only buy them when they're on sale. It's against our religion. But that maple pumpkin. To pay full price. Oh, that maple pumpkin looks so good. I'm so good. I'm excited for that because yeah. I do like pumpkin stuff. Are y'all yeah. like excited about pumpkin stuff? Like is pumpkin spice your, your jam? I'm like, I want candles. I got like the uh, the th like the DoTerra stuff for you know the sprays the sprays the humidifiers everything is is everything's pumpkin in our house pumpkin. Let's talk about our reverse diet. How's that going for you? I'm doing well. Um, I would love to be just dumping weight and eating a ton of food, but what's happening is I've increased my calories and I'm maintaining, which I think is a victory in itself, right? right? A aside from the chicken wing from Winn-Dixie yes. debacle, we have totally learned our lesson. I felt like poo-poo for like two or three days. I gotta tell you this story. So Friday night, I had um, a very big high school football game. It was Cardinal Gibbons against American Heritage in the last like three or four years one of those two high schools went to the, and won the state championship game. So it was a huge game. Like, you know, under lights, Fox was there. And so after the game, like, I don't usually go out. Like, the crew decide, usually, a lot of times the crews will go out afterwards for mm -hmm. beers or something. Like, uh, number one, you're usually going for pizza. I don't want pizza. Right. And I'm not drinking beer. So I usually just want to get home to Rachel anyway. And... <laughs> So they're like, oh, we're not now. I'm missing a butt cheek. We're going out. So I'm like, okay, we're going to go. And Anthony's on our crew. He's our timer. So we're, we go out. We go to this place called Flanagan's. And it's like 10 o'clock at night. And we get there. And there's a wait. And we finally, we finally sit down at like 11 o'clock. We order our food. The service is terrible. I'm trying to go, do I want a burger? Do I want wings? Do I want a burger? Or do I want wings? I don't even like the fact that I'm eating this late. But I haven't eaten today because I had a big game. And... I'm like, okay, so I'm like, what am I gonna be safe with? Anthony's, of course, eating pasta. <laughs> and I'm like, so I say to the girl, what are your wings cooked in? I'm like, first I'm like, are your wings breaded? She goes, no, 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 they're naked. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, what are they cooked in? What, she's like, what do you mean what are they cooked? I'm like, what kind of oil are they fried in? She's like, I know it's not peanut oil. And she's like, I'm like, okay, well, you can find out. She's like, well, do you have an allergy? I'm like, it's not so much an allergy. I'm like, I just don't do well with certain kinds of oils. Yeah. So and she's like, like, what kind of oil? I'm like, like canola oil. So she comes back like 20 minutes later and says, you're in luck. We use soy oil. So I'm like, yeah, I, but I was like, so 
conscious of what happened when we got those other wings, which there's no, by the way, when we get those Winn-Dixie wings, we're not getting it like with sauce and stuff on it. No. We're getting plain ones. So it's not like there's a bunch of carbohydrates or anything. It is the oil that they're cooking it in. And yeah, so I was just like going out to eat and I'm like, I really want wings. I think it's the safest bet normally, but I was so afraid to have a repeat of that, that I ended up going with a burger with blue cheese. Me- meanwhile, I went to Carabas the same night you were out. I went out with a bunch of girls to just kind of catch up, which was nice. Um, Didn't you get wings? Didn't you and say I you got, wanted to get wings? And I got wings, but they were smoked. Oh. And I had looked on, I forgot what was the website that was like, Keto Eating Out suggested that um, that, that would be a good option. That okay. that's probably the best option. because. You know, the problem with some of the the restaurants kind of like Carabas, they didn't really have hamburgers. So it is either find something on the appetizer or you have to buy a $20 steak. And right. I really wasn't looking to spend a ton of money. So it was pretty reasonable. They were delicious. And I actually... You know, they usually serve at Carabas like they have that little side of like oil and like parsley or something like oregano or whatever that you would like dip your bread in and then they left a little bottle of olive oil there i just put a little bit of olive oil drizzled on top of those wings oh and, that's a good idea and they were delicious they were good <laughs> yeah it was funny and i didn't feel bad the next day that's good because yeah the girl actually when i order my burger she's like okay what do you want on it and i'm like i want no bread i want she's like lettuce tomato onion i'm like lettuce no tomato no onion and I'm like, she's like, well, it comes with like a buffalo sauce. I'm like, okay, good. Put that on the side. And so then um, she was like, anything else? And I'm like, okay. And she's like, okay, you get a side. I'm like, what are my choices? And she's like, potato, rice, uh, French fries, onions. I'm like, nope, can't have any of that. Anthony's next to me like, I'll take it. So she finally goes, oh, you can have steamed broccoli. I'm like, okay, I'll take steamed broccoli. And I'm like, and she's like, well, do you want everything on it? And I'm like, what do you have? And she's like, I have butter. I'm like, okay, is it real butter or what kind of butter is She's like, I don't know. Isn't that I'm like, funny? How do you not know what it is? She's like, I don't know, it's some kind of liquid butter. I'm like, yeah, I don't want that either. I'm like, put it over on the side. She brings it over and it looks like water. Ew. It's like, who knows what this stuff is? Well, the, this is why we don't go out to eat. Yeah. And because, and you don't want to, you know, I'm not trying to be complicated, but um, the, it came with an aioli sauce that oh, we did. Wings? But I just didn't even want to risk it. I feel like aioli is like the new dumping ground for like, I don't know what's in that. The base of that is going to be mayonnaise. So most likely it's going to be made with sunflower oil or canola. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know what else there, you know, it's like, it's cheesy and it's also like tart and I I don't know. So that's why we don't "Mm." go out to eat. We just, because I just don't know what's in the products and I know what's in my product stuff at home. Yeah. You know, so we'll go to Longhorn, which we haven't done in a long time, or we go to Blaze Pizza, not Blaze Pizza, or we'll go to, for wings. We're only going to Buffalo Wild Wings now because at least we know their wings are all fly, fried in tallow. So, yeah. So back to the reverse diet. Yeah. Um, I am doing well. I'm maintaining, which is good. I think some stress management for me and like going through like the less stress September and just trying to look for places to, to find joy, to compartmentalize some things, definitely setting an earlier bedtime for myself and being like, this is the end of my day and getting a little bit more sleep has really helped. And like my whole attitude has helped, you know, it's changed, which has been nice. And I think that it also helps me stay on plan because when you're stressed out or you're frustrated or something, a lot of times you'll be like, well, I deserve to eat more because I'm overstressed, I'm overdone, just give me the food. And it's and it's like, I wind up sabotaging myself if I'm in a stressed state. It's not just that I think that, the, I mean, the cortisol and all that is like, is an issue. But I think it's also that I overeat because I'm thinking like, there's some joy. Going somewhere. In, in, in and getting some extra food, but then you just regret it later. Right. So um, going through September, it's been nice. Like, I don't feel like I need to do that. For me, I kind of want the reverse diet to be over. I'm ready to start reversing the other way, Uh huh. but we're gonna keep going. If So long as I don't go up anymore, if, like I said, if I get my sleep under control, mm-hmm. I think that that will kind of help and stuff. Um, let's do this. We have- Yay! 
our Keto Chow Starter Bundle giveaway. Because we had a little hidden so, giveaway. So this was from last week's uh, Keto on the Couch. We said we're going to give this away. I thought this was a stain, but it's like, it's the no, decoration. No, that's the decoration. I was like, what did this pop up again? So if you don't know what Keto Chow is, it's like a meal replacement drink that we happen to really love. Yes. And uh, you add your own fat to it. And Rachel drinks it every single day. Pretty I pretty much. much drink it every day. I mean, I I usually you don't like, drink it really. You you eat it. I I blend it up with a a butt ton of ice. A oh, butt. <laughs> I can't even mention butt. And um and yeah, it makes a big a big bowl. If you're a portion lady like I am, and I want to feel full, that's it's a good way to to get all your nutrients in, and it's very enjoyable, like ice cream. I am working on a video, so a lot of people complain about they do use sucralose, but it's pure sucralose, and it's, I mean, like, the, a pencil tip a head amount. of a pin. Yeah, so they use sucralose as a sweetener. A lot of people do, like, they don't want the sucralose. So they have one monk fruit flavor, which I've never tried. I have a packet, but I've never tried. Is it natural strawberry? It's a natural strawberry. But they also have something called the base where you could basically make your own keto chow. And he, he sells it where it's all of the vitamins and nutrients that are in keto chow. But no flavoring or sugar? And there's no or flavoring, sweetener. no protein, and no sweetener in it. And you would basically blend that with your own protein powder or whatever, like, you know, isopure or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then you could add whatever sweeteners like OOO flavoring and then sweetener to it. So I ordered some of that and I'm going to see if I can make one and then maybe do a video on like how you would do that. Because one of the things that I like about the keto chow is that you get a, every meal you drink. If you drink three one a day, you get a third of all of your electrolytes and stuff. With each meal. So with you get, meal. it gets, yeah. If you, you drink three of three. them, you get three. Yeah. You, you don't all. have to drink all three, you know, three meals a day, which when we first reviewed it months ago, we thought, well, you're supposed to drink this for three meals a day. But, but you, a no. lot of people like Rachel only drink it once a meal. Once a day. Okay, so the way we do our video, our giveaways, if you're new to the channel, is we take all of the comments, we plug them into a website. We go to a company called pickawinner.co. Pick a winner. And we have the YouTube uh, URL here. And Are we're you just going to. videoing? Oh, nope. Let me video it. Got to keep us honest. Okay. Okay, so it's recording. So we're going to hit fetch and continue. And there are 166 unique comments. People so I know there's more comments than that, but what it is is if you leave more than one comment, it only gives you one entry mm -hmm. to make it fair. Okay, ready? So pick a winner. Here we go. The winner is Liz Keith. Liz Keith, congratulations. Said, you guys are so fun. Just ignore anyone that says anything negative. Keep up the really good work. Well, I like her. Yeah. Thank you, Liz. So Liz, here, do us a favor, please. Uh, send us an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com with your shipping information. We will ship this out. You're getting some keto chow. Um, obviously today, well today is Sunday. Tomorrow when you guys see this, it'll be Monday. And we're going to give you till. <laughs> That's how a week works. We're going to give you till the end of the week, till Saturday, um, to contact us with your shipping information. If you don't, then we will pick a new winner on a oh, separate video. on the next Keto on the Couch. Yeah, maybe. just, well, just on a separate video because you know, just, I, I don't want it to sit around forever. I want somebody to win. Miss so. Liz is totally going to, <laughs> to so, send yeah, it. Yeah, so just send us an email, twocrazyketos at gmail.com with um, your shipping information. Or if you don't want it, you didn't say that here, but if you don't want it, just let us know so we can give it away to somebody else. Congratulations. So you want to do some comments? Yes, please. Okay, so we'll start off with our subscriber of the week. Subscriber of the week. So if you're new to our channel, every week we try to do a subscriber of the week. We go into our Facebook family group, which there's a link for that down below. It's free. It's free. And um, we just say, like, if you put up your story, a, a picture, you don't have to put a picture if you don't want to, but just, we like, like your, your story face. of, like, your, like, your keto journey. I and like we like to them. feature people. Yes, absolutely. So we like to feature people. So Julia put up her story the other day. So I'm going to put her pictures up here. Hello, Miss Julia. So she wrote, uh, first picture last night at 157 pounds. The second pick is two years ago, unknown weight, but approximately 220. I started this keto journey a year ago, weighing 210 keto and intermittent fasting are saving my life. I've been treated with uh, insulin and meds for over 23 years. They put me on insulin during my son's pregnancy and never took me off. After open heart surgery last year, I took charge of my health and started asking questions instead of blindly following the doctor's orders and dietitian's Good advice. Good for you. 
that is incredible. And I think it's one of the biggest, the, the biggest piece of the best piece of advice that Dr. Barry ever gives. And he was like, listen, your relationship with your doctor should be a relationship. It shouldn't be your doctor telling you, you do this and you not asking questions. He says, you need to go on this. Why? What do they do? What are the benefits? What are the consequences? And it's scary. I know that that's scary. That took real bravery to yes. be like, I'm taking this into my own hands. Yeah. So she wrote, um, I found keto and I'm trying to heal the damage that's been done to my body all of these years. It's going to take a lot more time, but a, in a, but a year in, I feel and see a difference already. I have three children, ages 38, 22, and 17, three grandbabies who are six, three, and two. How precious. I want to live my healthiest life and be active with them as long as possible. Yes. Keto and intermittent fasting are helping me to do that. And thank you, Joe and Rachel, for all you do for our keto community. Your devotion to others is amazing. Oh my gosh, let me and see. And so I guess that is going to be her before picture and wow. her after Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. So amazing. Pretty awesome. You look beautiful. Oh my goodness, Julia, congratulations. And yeah, like I'm I'm really glad to to see your story and to see that like you can reverse some things that have been going on for 20 plus years. I think people need to hear that because they you know, when people say, "Well, I'm starting to have health benefits, but it was like something that was diagnosed in the last year and now I'm di you know, and now I've reversed it. But people think, well, if you've had something for 20 years, it's over. Right. Like that's a life sentence. So I think it's important for people to see like, no, it's not. Right. Congratulations. Okay, so let's get into the comments. Uh, Vivijay wrote. Hey, Vivijay. More Rachel singing, please. <laughs> You are awesome. Actually, I want to see more of you singing. Yeah, Vivid Vivid J awesome. does all that singing in the clubs and stuff. He's amazing. So Lisa May wrote. Hey, Lisa May. Rachel, you look so much like Elizabeth McGovern. All I think of is Downton Abbey when I watch you. So pretty. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Lisa. Oh my goodness! I wish I love Downton Abbey. Like I cannot wait to go see that movie. Um, I was just waiting for my mom to finish binge watching that series, but now she's done, and like we can go. I want to see that movie like really badly. Matthew Becker wrote. Hey, Matthew. Ha, huh, I swatted at that moth. <laughs> oh, one that came in our. Yeah. And then he also wrote, no keto chow, I already have enough. Yeah, the moths are kind of annoying. So if you don't know, we have an African gray. Grayson. And what happens is, is sometimes when you get their bird food, you don't know it, but the bird food comes with like moth larvae in it. So now I'm just storing all of his bird food in our freezer because we we started we have two deep freezers and we we always had one unplugged, but we plugged it in for the storm because we bought a bunch of extra ice and stuff like that. And now I'm just storing it in there because yeah, what happens? You get one or two of those larvae out of the bird food. And they just infest the whole house. And it's so annoying. Oh my gosh. It's like, you just feel dirty. You do. And it's nothing. So we, the poor bird though, to get rid of them, I made him sit out on the patio for five days while we were killing moths throughout the house. In his cage. Because I mean. they were in his cage. So we had to scrub out the entire cage. But because what happens is, is they like, it's almost like, um, like caterpillars. They, they go into these little areas and they go into a corner and that's where they kind of like, Trans transition and it's and wait like, for them to transition. So you got, I wanted to get them out of there and then get whatever is in the house because if you had them in the house then they're going to go into his food dish or into the bottom it's of the a cage. Vicious cycle. And it's, yeah, so I'm like, okay, we got him all out of the house. He's finally back in the house. But, but he was literally like outside of the French doors. He's on a cut in, you know, within an in enclosed, enclosed patio. patio. Um, he he enjoyed it to a certain extent. Yeah, except for he learns all the other noises, like the dog barking behind us, the oh, other birds in the area. Crickets chirping. Yeah. But um, I would go by the sliding glass door and he'd be like, hey, hey. <laughs> like, because he was outside and he didn't like not interacting. Yeah. All of, he likes being a part of every conversation. So Steve wrote. Hey, Steve. I think Rachel and I are coffee buddies. I also used to drink a massive amount every day, usually five to 10, 16 ounce cups per day. I think he has you beat. Fist bump, Steve. I made a New Year's resolution almost three years ago to not do more than one cup a day and I've stuck to it. Probably the only resolution that has ever stuck. Oh man, Steve. Okay, so I'm with you. I'm, I'm, I don't wanna be fearful of reintroducing coffee, but if Steve can do it, I can do it. We can do this, Steve. What size coffee mug does he say? He doesn't say. Is it a pot-sized? 
Claudia wrote, Hey, Claudia. Rachel, are you drinking coffee or tea? I am drinking tea right now. I have not had any coffee yet. And um, I couldn't, I've tried the black teas. They do not like me. They make me sick to my stomach. So I have found some that's like either got like a chamomile base or something. Right. And I can drink those. There's one that Lipton makes, super fancy, right? Lipton tea, that is um, like a stress free, stress relief tea. And that's been very nice. Okay. Stephanie wrote. Hey, Stephanie. You should definitely try, what is it? Th uh, $39glasses.com. I go to my eye doctor for my annual exam, ask for my prescription to take with me, and go home and order online. I've purchased several pairs for myself and others in our family. So far, we've had no issues with them. They are more, there are more expensive options on their site as well. Makes one wonder about the cost of glasses others just pay for at their eye doctor. That's very true. Yeah, I'm actually going to go to the eye doctor this week, and that's what I was going to do. Because in the past, we've gotten them at like Costco or stuff like that. But they're still, because I wear bifocals, I, my glasses are normally like two hundred and fifty dollars, mm -hmm. and I don't even buy the expensive frames. No, so thank you for that suggestion because yeah. we've got to get um, Caleb some new ones too. We always get him, we always get him in sets of two because yep. one of them something bizarre is going to happen to them. Uh, the last one that he lost was we we were on a boat. We were never on a boat. We went on a boat ride. It was like <laughs> off first wave, boom off. It was like great. Uh, Annalie wrote, Hey, Annalie. Please don't take the ugliness to heart. There are so many people to listen to that anyone can find someone they enjoy listening to. I am fairly accomplished in the kitchen, but I find inspiration in your recipes. Thank you guys for just being you. Thank you. Thank what you. a nice thing to say. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. So September wrote, Hey, September. I love that your videos are long. You keep me entertained while I work. Really, really want to try the keto challenge. Oh, thank you, September. Oh, my goodness. Well, we'll have it in our 5,000 subscriber giveaway box. Yes, yes, we will. Another chance to win. Uh, Jen O wrote, Hey, Jen. I really enjoy that vlog. I love all of your videos, and I love you as a couple. I wouldn't change. Oh, my gracious. Y'all are making my week. Tara Simpson wrote, Hey, Tara. Please don't change your format because of one skid mark in Cyberland. <laughs> oh, my gracious. I love her. <laughs> We love you just the way you are. I really appreciate how transparent and honest you are, and I really enjoy hearing about your day. Oh, my goodness. So, you know what makes my day is seeing Tara's cat. If you guys yes. haven't joined our Facebook family group, it is worth it to see her kitty. He is the most perfect animal. I mean, he is so adorable. You, like, when he goes and tries to eat stuff, like, he is, like... Like, he's never eaten before in his life. It's the most adorable thing ever. He has, like, just, like, the little biscuits, you, I guess they call them, when they're, like, Rrr. he's the cutest thing ever. He's worth, like, joining our Facebook family group for. Yes. So, Stacy wrote. Hey, Stacy. They don't want you to talk. That's a big reason I subscribed, LOL. Aww. Can't please them all, I guess. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I know. It's funny. So, okay. I am so old that sometimes I get things wrong. In fact, one of my most embarrassing moments in the last five years was during a staff meeting. I was trying to say meme and said it wrong, and I said may may. And our worship leader almost fell down into the floor. That's because, because they're half our age. And it was like, how old are you, really, that you don't even know how to say the word meme? So I actually mentioned to Caleb about this dynamic and he was like a well vlog is talking like you can't not talk in it but I was like just checking because maybe I'm too old to understand what this is well that's how I felt so <laughs> Cindy and Dan wrote hey Cindy and Dan thanks for what you do we really enjoy watching your journey we've been doing keto for about nine months and are seeing great results so glad we found oh you. oh my gosh well thank you so much for watching us and like congratulations nine months that's that's an accomplishment yeah. good job sticking with it so Linda wrote, Hey Linda. Please don't change anything about your wonderful channel. Mm -hmm. I didn't know xylitol produced an insulin response. Thank you for the information. I know it's very toxic for dogs, so I keep it out of the house except for it is in my Tom's of Maine mouthwash. I wonder if swishing it with it affects the blood sugar sublingually. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, I know it's in our toothpaste. It's very low on the glycemic index. I think it's like a 13. Just know it's not zero, like, you know, Stevie or something like that. Okay. But I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, he said, she said, Joe, um, I always bring something in the car to drink with me. It's usually water or a Kyo's peach mango, Waterloo mango, or, Waterloo. Uh, or buy coconut. 
I got to stay hydrated as it's still so hot in Texas. Man, I hear ya. <laughs> We're boiling here still. Said, please don't worry about how long your videos are. We love it. So Sylvia wrote. Hey, Sylvia. You both are awesome. Please don't change your format or what and how much you share with us. I very much enjoy watching your videos and listening to all that hilarious stuff that comes up. Good job, Rachel, on the coffee detox. You Thank go, you. girl. Yes, Joe, please do the extensive cardio routine and measure ketones afterwards. Very interested in the results. OMG, the clip of Rachel getting busted. OMG, I love you, girl. Oh, I, it was so bad. I, I honest to goodness did not think that there was any video evidence. I was like, well, you don't have anything, so meh, meh, meh. And I'm like, because a lot of times after Joe edits a video, you just you discard the stuff you didn't use. And so I was like, there's no it way. It was God. So what happens is, is I edit a video and I either use Premiere Pro or I use Final Cut Pro, depending on what I'm trying to do with the editing. So after I edit a video, it stays within the video editor until the video goes live on YouTube. Because once it goes live, I'm not going to edit it anymore. But what will happen is, is I'll edit a video. We will always upload it to YouTube and then we will pre-watch it to make sure there's no editing errors. It's easier to do that than try to watch it on the computer because I can see exactly how it is and then Rachel can watch it as well. So once we go, okay, it's going to go live. The next time I sit down on my computer to edit another video, I delete the old files. Which well, is what I was banking on, obviously. When, when we filmed that video, I had not yet deleted the files from making the ice cream. So when we filmed that, I was like, ooh, I still have that on the computer. Had we done one video in between the Enlightened and that Keto on the Couch, that foot, all that footage would have been gone forever. Newman. <laughs> Dang it. So with regards to like the whole thing with, you know, that comment, our whole thing was, I just wanted to get it off of my chest. We're not changing our format. The only thing we're doing is maybe cutting down a little bit on like with our review videos. We're like, why are we talking about the, the ingredients and then talking about them later on. Yeah. All we're doing there is shortening them up. So we're going to talk about the ingredients one time within the five things review. So, But we're not going to shorten our videos that much. And thank you for bearing with us as we're kind of clunky yeah. changing things. And But thank you for the confirmation that this is what we're supposed to do because that was our feeling. Like, hey, this is us. If you don't like it, you know, we understand and there's plenty okay. of other people. There's so many people that don't like us. <laughs> There's like a lot of people that don't like us. So Gail wrote, Hey Gail. Rachel, my one cup of coffee a day averages out to be about 24 ounces or so and only in the morning. Yep. It fills up my travel mug one and a half times. I like to drink out of my travel mug with a straw because it stays hot and I can slowly sip and enjoy it even though I'm at home. Like Joe, not black. Oh, okay. Uh, but it is only that one time a day. So good for you for making the decision for just having a cup. I laughed when you talked about AARP. I am 61 and have been getting mail to subscribe to. Man, it just, that that really, that hurt my feelings. But it was, I feel like the post office is confused because we got the AARP magazine and then we got, weirdly, a, um, a gift set of Similac for like babies. And I was like, okay. I don't understand where that's coming from because we have never had babies together. So is this an Abraham and Sarah blessing? Like we're old, but we're going to be having a baby. Like, I don't, I don't know. That was weird. But, um, Gail is my coffee buddy because I don't know many people who drink their hot coffee out of a straw. Yeah. And I, and I, I've done that too. Heather wrote, Hey Heather. Congrats on 5,000 subs. I love you guys so much. Please don't listen to the one negative voice. Hear your fams, family that love you. Aww. Congrats on your triumph over coffee, Rach. I love how you, all your videos are different kinds. You have a variety and it feels like for, you are over for a visit on these keto on the couch videos. I adore you both. We want more. Aw, I love that. Over for a visit. Thank you, Heather. We love you so much. She's so awesome. Jackie wrote, Hey Jackie. Love you guys just the way you are. Stay true to who you are. As a six-year-old grandma who has struggled with food addiction my entire life, I look forward to hearing and being encouraged by everything you say you have to say. My first two months on keto were a huge struggle and I wanted to give up every day. I've lost 40 pounds since June and have 20 more to go. Wow. My life is forever changed. And if it weren't for you and the other encouragers on YouTube, I never would have made it this far. Oh, Jackie, thank you for making us a part of your journey. And congratulations. That's amazing. 40 pounds down? Yeah. That's awesome. So Sherry wrote. Hey, Sherry. 
You know you're doing something right when the trolls start. Oh my gosh, I love trolls. Those little things like like with the hair, that you mm, they're so cute. Jen wrote, Hey Jen. I love the length of your videos. They really help my day at work pass by enjoyably. I just love your positivity and happiness. It brightens my day and I love hearing how you all are doing. Mm. I would like to hear more about your menagerie of pets and how they came to be a part of your family. And thank you for to everyone who prayed for my grandmother's cat's return. After two weeks, she showed back up at our door, dirty and scrawny, but otherwise oh, okay. Good. The vet cleared her, and she's already putting back on weight and acting like she owns the place. Oh, Jen, that's so good. That thank, is awesome. Thank the Lord. That is awesome. Yeah. I mean, when your furry babies are, like, out of pocket, that is scary. Scary. That's awesome. So Renee wrote, Hey, Renee. I'm new to your channel. I'm loving the talking and your personalities are awesome. I would love to try Keto Chow. Thank you for your upbeat shares. Well, thank you, Renee. So yeah, we do appreciate you guys like hitting the like button and leaving comments and stuff because it does help grow the channel. It, it works with the YouTube analytics where it kind of you know pushes us up so we're recommended more to other people and that's how people find us. So even the people who hit the dislike button, they think they're trolling us, but actually the dislikes help grow us too. So, But they make me cry. They so make us cry, but that's fine. <laughs> You're still helping the channel. So we win in the end. Thank you, disliking people. Uh, Steve T wrote, if you don't watch the whole way through, you're missing out. Aw, thank you, Steve. That's because we did a surprise giveaway at the end of the last one. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Rebecca wrote, Hey, Rebecca. I've been wanting to try Keto Chow for a while, but every time I see the price, I stop. It's like half of my grocery budget for the week. I would love to try your chili recipe. It looks delicious. Uh, Be yourselves, guys. Just love it. So the one thing about the keto chow, I kind of thought it was expensive at first too, because when you see the price of like sixty-six dollars for a bag, what? you're like, oh my gosh, it is expensive. Um, but what I did for myself, and it's not just with keto chow, it's with anything. I break everything down into servings now. I'm like, how much is that costing me as a serving? We talked about that in the electrolytes video. Yeah, because like with keto chow, it's remember it's supposed to be a meal replacement. Mm -hmm. So if you pay full price. It works out to be like a little over $3 for a serving. And then by the time you add in your butter, like if you're using butter as your fat source, you're at like less than $4. But that's for a complete meal. meal. Well, I used to, I look at like I would go to like even Wawa and get a couple of hot dogs. That was over $4. Yeah. Or go to McDonald's. I would always spend over $4. McDonald's so, is not cheap anymore. So for me, I when I started breaking it down and going, well, if that is actually my meal, not a treat drink in between my meals, True. then I don't think it's super expensive because if you're getting $66 for 21 meals, that's really, you're getting 21 meals. That's a week's worth of food for $66 plus your butter, which is gonna cost you like another six bucks. All I can think is, what is it that Miriam says? It's a, not just a protein shake, it's a, it's a complete, complete meal. meal. So yeah, that's how I break everything down now. When I'm looking at, if I'm getting bars for myself and I'm paying $2 for a bar, I'm like, okay. Is this a snack is it worth or it? a meal? You know, and but I compare it to like, well, how much did I used to pay to get a drink from Starbucks? How much did I pay for a coffee? Like where I would get a latte or something as something in addition to my food. So if I was willing to spend $5 for a Starbucks Frappuccino, is this worth a third of that price? Do yeah. I get the same enjoyment out of it? And that's how I look at everything that I eat now. I'm like, if it's going to cost me like a ridiculous amount of money, then I'm like, okay, am I getting a value out of it? For me, it's all about value. How, how, what is my value? Except we are probably going to go bankrupt collecting all of the Le Crusette line that just came out oh this Oh my week. gosh. Oh my gosh, it's Star Wars. Yeah, I get a text Pops. message from Chris over at Keto Chow. He's like, oh, I, you're not going to find this at the outlet store. And they've got like a Darth Vader crock pot. They've got a Han Solo in the carbonite. Like, um, it's it's amazing. I want that stuff. so badly. Yeah, in like a year or two when it hits the outlet store. <laughs> Tara Simpson wrote, Hey Tara. I always have to have a drink in my car. I keep a stopped angle cooler in my car at all times. I do struggle with wanting to snack while I'm driving too. Me too. And you keep, uh, you have your angle in the I vehicle I keep my also. angle in the back seat. It's always got a bunch of drinks in it. Even when you cleaned your car out, it stayed. It stayed. 
Now, the one thing I've stopped doing is keeping snacks in the car, except for Anthony will sneak them in. Like, I used to always keep, like, cheese uh, cheese crackers or, like, the little cheese whisks okay. or meat sticks or something. But I have too much of a tendency of, like, being bored, sitting and waiting at a traffic light, reaching in there. So, for me, if it's not there, I won't eat it. Yeah. Uh, Pat wrote. Hey, Pat. You're a bit younger than me, but I relate to you so much, especially Rachel. Every time she says she loves ice cream, I think, yes, that's me. I'm never full. Yes, that's me. I am never full. I could literally, like, eat a horse and rider. Like, I'm the person you take to the buffet so that, like, you get your money's worth. I will get your money's worth. Deborah wrote, Hey, Deborah. Rachel, love your coffee mug. And there's nothing wrong with the video that you say balls. It makes the video fun and you get some laughs. Balls. That was the first one. I wonder if she still feels the same one after the jalapeno balls. There was a lot of balls in that. There was a lot of balls in that one. I was editing that video going, oh, this is really bad. I'm like, I feel like we need to have like a, an adult content disclaimer in the bottom of I that one. I would like, if we do a third balls one, we need to have Alec Baldwin do his like SNL, like sweaty balls routine. Oh my gosh, routine. please stop. Mama Cox wrote... Hey, Mama Cox. I would love to see your glucose test after a workout. Mama Cox. Heather wrote... Am I going to have to work out? <laughs> Heather wrote... Hey, Heather. Rach, don't hate me, but yes, Joe, I want to see testing after exercise. I want to do that test of myself. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? You know what we were going to do? We're going to have Joe work out, like, just crazy workout. This would be the perfect week because the bicycle probably wouldn't give you enough of, like, uh, like hardcore exercise. So since you can't bike this week, since you burnt your butt. My butt is missing. We can go for a run. I can't. I have no butt to run with. You can run. And we'll do a bunch of, like, uh, burpees. And you can't do sit-ups, but you can do push-ups and jumping jacks. What is wrong with you? Kristen wrote, Hey, Kristen. I've been on the hunt for salt and vinegar keto snack. I'm so checking out those pork rinds. I also utilize my local library for audiobooks. Best adult discovery for sure. Yeah. I would also love to try keto chow. Oh my gosh. Those salt and vinegar pork rinds. They Did you good. order them yet? No, not yet. Porking good. They are porking what good. What I did order though was those Revel chocolate snacks that were in the keto crate. Because they were really because good. Because somebody in the comment section put, and I can't find it now, there was a buy one, get one free coupon on Amazon. What? So I ordered, like, it's like buy six bags, get six bags free. You buy, like, six bags for, like, $27 or something like that, or uh -huh. four bags for $27, and you got four bags for free. So it's like, okay, now it's worth it. Well, anybody find that coupon. But I can't coupon. find the coupon code. So Could if it... you know where that, if you know the coupon code to make them buy one, get one free, please leave it down in below in this comment section. I will pin it to the top, and then I will, and then go put it over on the Keto Crate one. And I'll pin it to the top as well so that if anybody's interested, because they were good. Did they have other flavors? Yeah, they had four flavors, so I bought the combo pack. It's like one of each flavor. What kind of flavors? I don't remember. I know one of them was like salted caramel. One of them was like chocolate almond. <laughs> so, yeah, I did order them because they were buy one, get one free. So last one. Slapstick Food Keto Edition wrote, Hey, Slapstick Food. Please don't change the style of your videos because of one comment. I personally enjoy the length of your videos and how often the videos come out. Mm. One thing I've learned recently is how annoying video editing is. You all do a great job with that. I've been working on my video of losing 100 pounds while also finding out I had diffuse scleroderma. 100 pounds? 100 pounds. That is awesome. Congratulations. That's freaking amazing. And I've learned that I do not like video editing at all. And I have a computer programming degree. Much respect for that. Wow. Didn't you all just buy a ton of Zevia? Now she's not going to drink pop? Hopefully that doesn't backfire. Don't worry. I am not quitting Zevia. Yeah, and I mean, I do drink it, but just not like on the regular. I tested my blood glucose level this weekend and I was at 83. After going for a mile walk in 94 degree weather, I was 102. Wow. So I'm telling you, your blood glucose significantly goes up after exercise. I think we've settled it. No, we have I haven't. think Slapstick has settled it. I don't need to work out. Like, we're good. We're going to work out. So he wrote, those pink salt and vinegar pork rinds are great. I've never been a salt and vinegar fan before. I had them with sardines and avocado. You lost me at sardines. <laughs>
I'll, I'll, I'll meet you at the avocado. Well, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and leave some comments and questions down below. And we will answer them on next week's Keto on the Couch. Yay! Also, make sure you go over to our Facebook family group and you can put your story down there and answer any of the questions that we asked you in today's video. Also, you can see Tara's cat. Yeah, you can see Tara's cat. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.